Hi everyone, Wishbone here. I just wanted to take a moment to highlight a design element crucial to most, if not all, first person shooters. We're talking about weapon weight and heft. Does the weapon feel like it packs a punch? Is it satisfying to use or does it feel like a spit wad in the wind? Doom's iconic BFG 1000, while extremely powerful in game, has always felt kind of underwhelming. However, when it was time to reintroduce the weapon for 2020's Doom Eternal, id Software used storytelling via level design to firmly crown the newly renamed BFG 10,000 King of the Super Heavy Weapon for the foreseeable future. Let's take a look. to the BFG-10,000 is just across from this facility. Warning, BFG-10,000 is firing. The power source of the BFG-10,000 should be of interest to you as well. That serious dead guy doesn't scare me. I'd like to see him try. That control block contains the energy source of the BFG-10,000. I'm lowering it for you now. I'm telling you, he's on his way! I need you to... No! <laughs> Disable the safety protocols. The pod is set to self destruct. We should move ahead. Danger. All personnel evacuate to Mars. The Slayer has control. There you have it. What began as an emplaced cannon firing in the distance, climaxed in the full emerald rage of the Slayer blasting a hole into the core of Mars, and culminated with the weapon being neatly packed into his pocket, seemingly undiminished. Upon acquisition, the player was given a juicy opportunity to test the weapon themselves, then popped through a teleporter to a gorgeous viewpoint of the now-ruined planet of Mars, so that you could bask in the afterglow.
That BFG 10,000, boy, that has weight. And it's one of the reasons I say, oh, that's a good game. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.